yeah, greetings one and all. So today we're looking at the first part of our eight part lecture series on decision theory. And we're starting with payoff tables. Right, we just want to get an understanding of how we interpret the payoff tables. Right? So here we're looking at the eight parts that we'll be covering. But we're starting with the payoff tables. Alright, so here we have a standard payoff table. Right? And what we're looking at here is on the left, we're seeing alternatives, country for a new factory. Right? So this business needs to build a new factory. And they're looking at four locations. Right? The four locations are South Korea, Philippines, Mexico, and Jamaica. Now, these are what we call our decision alternatives, right? Which represent the alternative choices that we can make, right? We can choose to build in South Korea. We can choose to build in Philippines, Mexico, or Jamaica, right? And we're going to be choosing one at the end of the day. Now, on the right, we have what we call our states of nature. And these represent the uncertainty that we can face in the future, right? In terms of the conditions, economic, social, and so forth. Right, so here we go. We're saying if we choose to build a factory in South Korea and conditions turn out to be unfavorable, the cost of the factory will be 19.0 million. Right, and notice it's we said at the bottom that the figures represent cost in millions. Right, so South Korea under unfavorable conditions, 19 million. Under average conditions, the cost in South Korea will be 18.5 million. And under favorable conditions, the cost would be 17.6 million. Right? If we choose to build it in Mexico, under unfavorable conditions, 22.5 million. Under average conditions, 16.8 million. And under favorable conditions, it would be 13.8 million. Right? So we're uncertain of exactly what the cost will be per location, but we're saying it should be somewhere in between these based on how conditions turn out uh, here we have another payoff table this one is looking at uh, alternatives options to meet capacity requirements right so this business has some challenges with capacity right and they have come up with some alternative options to, to solve their capacity problems so one they can build a new plant two they can subcontract Three, they can do overtime. And four, they can choose to do nothing. So these represent our decision alternatives, right? And as I said, the decision alternatives are the different choices that we can make going forward. Right? We already spoke about the states of nature. So for this table, the states of nature are the same as for the table that we looked at before. Right? Unfavorable average are favorable all right i remember we said these speak to what the conditions will look like in the future now just looking at this table we know that these figures represent profit right since if it was cost we know we don't have negative cost the lowest your cost can be zero and it couldn't be revenue because the lowest your revenue can be is zero so once we are seeing negatives right we know that these represent profits Right, so what this table is saying, if we choose to build a new plant and conditions turn out to be unfavorable, it result, results in us losing $300,000. Right? If conditions turn out to be average, the new plant will give us a profit of 240000 And if conditions are favorable, the new plant will give us a profit of $350,000. If we choose to subcontract and conditions are unfavorable, we will lose twenty thousand dollars all right if we choose to subcontract and conditions turn out to be average then we'll gain a profit of ninety thousand and if we subcontract and the conditions are favorable then our profit will be a hundred and eighty thousand dollars right for overtime unfavorable we we'll lose ten thousand average conditions profit of sixty thousand and favorable conditions profit of 110,000. And then the fourth option is to do nothing, which of course will result in neither a loss nor profit. So it's just zero right across the board. All right, so we hope you have more comfort with these tables and have fun.
Next, we'll be doing part two of the lecture series where we'll look at Maximax. Alright, all the best and see you soon.